I'm Dr. George Flynn and I want to welcome you to In-Depth TV. Today we've had a topic uh, that has been requested quite a few times and people stop me and say, would you talk about this? So today's the day we're going to talk about this. When I was uh, a younger person in my early 20s, I got to study with a guy named Earl Nightingale. Now, if you don't know who Earl Nightingale was, uh, he was a famous uh, motivational speaker. He did one of his famous talks called The Strangest Secret. And it always struck me that uh, all of his wisdom sort of was in all of the motivational and the self-help uh, industry has sort of sprung from that that one idea that was compacted into the strangest secret. Excellent guy, excellent teacher, and I want to talk with you about some things that he talked about. You know, one of the big things is the maker of the universe did not make you to be going nowhere. You've come from somewhere, <clears throat> you're going somewhere, you're in your traveling right now. So it's a continuum. It's a journey. It's not a destination. And you're on this journey. And sometimes in the journey, you get a little bit lonesome, discouraged, downtrodden. Some people even get to despair. And one of the things I would like for you to remember, on this journey, you're not alone. You're not out there by yourself in the wilderness, you know, in the desert. You're not alone. There are a lot of people around you. A lot of people all around. And I saw in a uh, movie, and it was just a line in a movie, it didn't have a big meaning, that there are a lot of lonely people out there waiting for someone to make the first move. We'll get back to that. But there are, and you may be that lonesome person. But just remember, we talked about this is a journey. You've come from somewhere, you're going somewhere. The, roads has hill, the road has hills and valleys. And it's not always going to be great, <clears throat> but even in the lowest times, things will get better. Things will get better. And that's what I want you to focus on. It's okay to be down. It's okay to be upset and feel lost temporarily. And that's the key to it. It's temporary. It's not permanent. Nothing about this is permanent. The changes you make will change the road, change the journey. Now, one of the things when you feel lonely, when you feel down, when you feel like you need a friend, let people in. Let other people in. There are plenty of people out there just waiting to help you. They want to help you. They want to ease your burden. All you need is one other person. You don't need, you know, 10,000 people. You just need one other person that's willing to see your situation from different eyes and help you. Just make sure, now I have to say this, just make sure that other person is not trying to sell you something. There are some people out there that want to be true friends just for friendship's sake. So just remember, everything is going to be okay and you can pretend like it's all going to be okay 
And as long as you're pretending, be careful of that. Now that doesn't mean you can't fake it till you make it. Now that's an old term. You can fake it till you make it because you know you're only doing that for a little bit of time. You're going to fake it, the good mood, the good attitude, till you make that good attitude. You're not going to pretend, pretend, pretend. You're just going to do this for a little while until you, that's right, make it. I want you to have expectations. Expectations of what's going to happen. What's going to happen to you, with you, and for you. I want you to have expectations. Make them realistic expectations. Now, if expectations are here and realistic expectations are up here, just make sure you're not way up here with unrealistic expectations. Just make sure that you are progressive, progressing, and you're progressing to your ideal, progressing to your ideal. You, you, you're not gonna you know, be there instantly, but you're going to move in a very logical fashion to get to your ideal. Okay, so you say, I've got all of this to do. It looks hard. I, can't, I can't, you know, all of these steps are in there to do. I've got this to take care of and this to take care of and I've got to do this and I've got to do, and it, it, it'll overwhelm you. The trick, if there is a trick, is to break it down into small steps. Small steps every day, every week, every hour, every minute, what, small steps, break it down. Whatever the big project is, break it down into smaller projects. And then, when you complete one of those small steps, celebrate, celebrate those small wins. It's okay to celebrate, it's okay to say, we did that part, I did that part. Now I can move on to the next one, but I'm going to take a minute and celebrate this one small win. That gives you energy to go to the next win and the next one, and then pretty soon you've done the project. So that is, that is one of the best things that I ever got from my mentor break the project down into small steps and go about doing those small steps as best as can be done by you. And that takes us right into what if you fail? What if you fail with that small step? Okay, failure is a part of life. And failure is a part of success. You see people and they would have you believe that everything they do is perfect, first time, no failures, everything works just as expected. Well, that's far from the truth. The main thing you've got to do is learn from failure. Learn from less than successful. We don't have to call it failure. We can call it missing the mark. We can call it any kind of thing. And I, I strongly suggest that you change the words because what you tell yourself is really uh, important. And you know the old story about Thomas Edison. And the story goes any, when he was trying to invent the light bulb. He was trying to come up with a carbon filament that wouldn't burn out or would last longer. And so, he had tried tungsten, he tried all of these different combinations, and 
Finally, somebody came to him, and the story has been magnified, I'm sure. I think it was a thousand times that he had not been able to have a light bulb that worked work. And some people say it was 10,000 times. It was a lot of times. That's all that matters. I said, Mr. Edison, you have failed at this so many times. Why don't you just give up? And his famous words were, I have not failed at this. I now know a thousand or 10,000. I now know many, many ways to not make a light bulb. So he was failing forward, missing the mark going forward, learning from this. And you can learn from it too. One other thing you might think about doing is changing your habits. That's right, your habits. You say, oh no, don't make me change my habit. Yes, because if you change your habits, what changes? Your results, that's right. Find a reason to change your habits because you want different results. That may be the reason. So change your habits, get better results. And if a change in habit gives you worse results, well, change it again and keep changing it till you get better results. And make sure that you do not compare yourself to other people. Don't do that. You compare yourself to you, where you came from and where you are and where you're going. Comparing yourself to others does no good. Either you'll feel like, I'm so proud of myself, I did better than John Jones over here, or I am so feel bad for myself because I did less, less well than Jimmy Jones. You know, comparing yourself to others does you no good. It might, you might think it would motivate you, it usually demotivates you. And please remember, you can always let go and let God. And I strongly suggest that you do that. Because trying to control it all, yourself, taking the entire weight of the world on your shoulders, doesn't work. It doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for me, it doesn't, doesn't work for anybody. So try letting go, just turning it over, and say, God, you made this, you made this situation. I need to learn something from it. Teach me. And please remember in the, about the hard times in your life, the worst days of your life. Well, you're here now, so it means you've made it through 100% of the worst days of your life. How did you do that? You're resilient. You bounce back. You make the changes. You come through. You've made it through 100% of the worst days of your life. And now here we are, and you're thinking, what do I need to do now? Well, just remember, there are a lot of lonely people out there. You may be one. And a lot of lonely people are waiting for someone to make the first move. Well, maybe you can be the person to make that first move. Ask for help or offer help. And you'll be surprised at how rapidly things will turn around for you. I'm Dr. George Flynn. You've been watching In-Depth TV. I appreciate you being here, and we'll see you next time.